Crazy Chef, you see the recipe, you see the vibe. Don't give bun. <laughs> yeah, don't give bun. Look at that beautiful bun, but as I said, don't give bun. Maybe a little cheese, you know. Maybe a little cheese, but don't give bun. But I still have to share this recipe with you, right? And this isn't your traditional this isn't your traditional Easter bun and cheese recipe. This is more like a spice bun type of thing. Yeah, so if you like those round bun that you get in the store, those little ones, sometimes they have the raisin, sometimes they're stale, sometimes they're fresh and nice. You put a little piece of cheese in there and they're delicious, right? So if you like those delicious round bun, that you get in the store and you wonder you know how they come up with this type of vibe well today i'm gonna share that vibe with you crazy chef big vibe we're making spice bun right it's easter coming around the corner so today we're gonna make spice bun i'm gonna leave a detailed detail recipe in the description box right so to make spice bun what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you know guinness stout a little bit of molasses some vanilla right some allspice some rose water a little bit of browning and then i'll mix all that together right so i'm gonna mix all my wet ingredients together and then i'm gonna put that in the microwave you know you put an egg in there bunch of ingredients as i said detailed description in the description box the complete recipe in the description box but today we're just making spice bun it's a little hard to make it takes a lot of time but the finished product is by far the best on the internet right the sp finished product by far is the best on the internet you can use dry active yeast or you can just use instant yeast right so your choice all you gotta make sure is you have time because the proofing process is a lot crazy chef big vibe we're making spice bun and yeah, so you want to make sure when you make any form of bread, right, is you have time to proof, right? Proofing is very important when you work with yeast or when you work with dough, right? So as I said, you want to put all your wet ingredients together and we're going to put that in our microwave for 45 seconds. You know, you just want to keep it, get it a little warm. Then we're gonna put our yeast, you know, a little bit of sugar, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon. So, tablespoon of sugar, and then we'll put a tablespoon and a half of dry active yeast. And we'll just set that aside and let our yeast do its thing. Then we'll add all our dries, right? So that's our wet let that vibe and then now we're gonna add two cups of sugar right so we put two cups of sugar and we we'll let that vibe also because this is a little warm right now so it's like a perfect time to add our sugar and now we'll work on our dry ingredients right so I'm using half all-purpose and half bread flour so we need four cups of flour we'll add our flour so we'll add half all purpose and uh, half of bread flour we'll add all our dries right so we'll put all our dry ingredients in our flour and we'll let that vibe and then you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly slowly add or wet ingredients I put my yeast first and I let that vibe a little bit and then now 
I'm going to add the rest of my wet ingredients. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Like the vibe. Subscribe to the vibe. And if you're really interested, right, share the vibe. Right? If it's really good for you, share the vibe. If you learn something, hit it with a like. If you learn one thing, hit me with a like, right? If you stumble across the channel, you see something that you like, subscribe. Subscribe to the vibe. Crazy Chef, big vibe. We bring a vibe over here, right? So you want to make your dough knead slowly. And then we're going to take our dough. So as soon as we add all our wet ingredients, right? How you know your dough is ready is going to clean the sides of the pan look at that that's how you know your dough is ready you're gonna take your dough out you're gonna grease a bowl right so you'll grease your bowl I've already greased my bowl with some olive oil and then you'll take your dough you'll make it into a ball right so you make your dough in a ball and then you'll just put it to proof right and as I said it's this particular dough is harder to prove, so we'll proof it for a longer time than usual. You want to make sure it's twice the size, then you're going to take it out. You're going to cut it in your desired size. You're going to shape it, right? Because remember, we're making spice bun. They're supposed to be round, right? So we're going to shape each one into a ball, and then we're going to proof it again then we're gonna bake I'm gonna bake it at 325 because I want to give it a little slower type of vibe so I'm gonna bake it 325 right so we'll proof it a little bit make sure it's nice and proof and don't forget make sure you get a piece of that Jamaican cheese like who wants to get bun and not get a piece of that Jamaican cheese that Jamaican cheese is so good it doesn't melt <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever try to melt Jamaican cheese? It doesn't melt, but it's so good. I don't know what it is, but Jamaican cheese is so good, it doesn't melt. Crazy Chef, hit that like button. You see those beautiful buns. Like, look at that spice bun. As I said, don't give bun, but if you're gonna give a bun, give a spice bun. Look at that. So we'll bake these at 325 and they're gonna come something like that. Look at that. Ooh, la la. Ooh. So we'll slice it in, hit it with that Jamaican cheese right in there, right? So we hit it with that Jamaican cheese, create that Jamaican vibe. And look at that. Crazy Chef, big vibe. As I said, if you like the vibe, hit that like button. Subscribe to the vibe. Share crazy chef big 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 vibe